Okay, this is Brent Leary, and I'm uh, I'm hanging out here, at Austin, ZeroCon 17. It's been a really great day of information, insights, and me personally learning about Zero. This is my first ZeroCon, and I'm with the CEO and founder of Zero, Rod Drury. Rod, thank you for joining me. Great to see you. Absolutely, and this has been a great event. Yeah, it's fun. It's a cool community, isn't it? A very cool community, and what's really interesting, you did your keynote, and there was just I tweeted so much, there's a lot of things I'd love to ask you about. We don't have enough time for all of them. So I'm going to pull up a few of them that really came to mind. Cool. Now, you said that uh, there's been $1.5 trillion of transactions that have flowed over the Zero platform. Just in the last 12 months. Just in the that's amazing. So, and you just went over the million uh, subscriber mark. You're at 1.2 million? Yep. So that provides a rich set of information. And you talked a little bit about how that data married with what you're doing with machine learning and AI is proving to be, uh, give you some really interesting insights that you were able to share with your advisors and your customers. Maybe you could talk about the importance of that yeah. to your business and to your customers. Yeah, so you think, you know, you think what Google have to do, right? They kind of model the world and everything on it. Um, and uh, they're doing an amazing job in machine learning and AI. But we think small business compu uh, computing and small business software will probably be one of the leading places you see AI work for you. And why is that? Well, because one, we processed $1.5 trillion of data last year, so that gives us a massive data set. And the taxonomy that we need to take those transactions and code them in is relatively small. So we're already seeing like a 90 plus percent hit rate if we take a, 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 a raw financial document and, and load it into accounting software. So, so what does that mean? Well, what it means is we can deliver what we call code-free accounting. Because the problem with accounting is that, you know, like a landscape garden or a tourism operator understands their business, but they may have done some basic bookkeeping. They're not really accounting professionals, and yet we ask them to do it. So mm -hmm. traditional desktop software got to maybe 5 to 10% market share of the addressable market. Um, cloud accounting we're seeing in New Zealand now, um, where zero is pretty much mandatory, 38% uh, of people. So cloud accounting has made it easier. But how do we get to 90% of people using accounting? Well, by not doing accounting, you just send your documents in and we can you know, machine vision anything where the source data is not there to get the kind of um, uh, the metadata in the document and then we can use that to code it into the accounting engine. And what that does is massively grows the market for accounting advisors. So on the accountant side, we then make sure we're giving tools to allow them to scale to all of those new customers. So that um, working on making accounting super, super easy and then having accountants connected to a small business cost effectively, we'll see um, accountants move into be growth advisors so we can create jobs at scale in the small business sector. Yeah, yeah that's my keynote. Yeah, that was gonna say, <laughs> you hit the term I was gonna ask you about, turning them from uh, accountants to growth consultants yeah. and using your platform to help with that. Yeah. How important is that, not just from uh, the end user perspective, but from your advisors, Th these are your partners. How is taking that in, those insights allowing them to actually be better uh, servants to those customers? Yeah, so it's um, you know, obviously you know, there's things like benchmarking you would expect, giving them insights, what's the next action. We can use that machine learning data to alert um, an accountant or bookkeeper, hey, this is a client that needs some attention or there may be a consulting upsell opportunity. But we're going further than that. Um, what we've done on the accountant side is um, we have a, a curated set of apps in our ecosystem. So rather than us trying to do it all as a single vendor, we have a great community of apps, over 600 uh, certified apps and 40,000 developers building apps on our platform. So what we've done is said, if you're an accounting firm, um, this is your core systems of record, your, your client list, your activity list, your staff list, and we've uh, agreed to work with all these uh, add-ons to respect that and then build their own functionality that embraces that key systems of record. So we're able to add new tools like marketing tools so um, we can uh, make it really easy for accountants to talk to their customers and further we can inject content and playbooks right. so we're giving accountants growth strategies and these plays that they can go out and run on a segment of their customers. So it's really cool because we're moving away from just delivering software and shipping it to an accountant to actually being a business partner where we can do some heavy lifting on marketing content, strategies, insights, all sorts of good things. You talked about also wanting to turn your small business customers into exporters yeah. and how you have these platform partners like AWS and uh, Alibaba yeah. to help with that. Can you talk about that a little bit? 
Yeah, so if you think about, you know, you've got a, a small town in the US, maybe it was a manufacturing town in the 70s and 80s, and that factory might be closed down, right? So it's very difficult to see for all those towns, those factories will ever reopen. Those sort of jobs are very unlikely to come back again. In fact, most large enterprises are using technology to reduce their workforce. Therefore, if you want local, regional jobs, it's got to be in small business. But you'll only get so big selling to each other, right? <laughs> so um, we've got to take all of our people, if you want to live in that beautiful little rural town, or that's our you know, small village, rather than everything globalizing and you having to be in the big city, we've got to make sure that we're arming our small businesses with the tools to trade globally. And that's as simple as being able to do like a live meeting, you know, web demo, or be part of a virtual video conference. But what we're seeing now is the, the marketplaces already exist. So if you want to deal with Asia, there's Alibaba, with millions and millions of uh, consumers. So if you're a tourism operator, You've got you know, the Chinese market who will be searching and Googling, finding you. They may want to um, uh, communicate and ask questions with WeChat. They may want to pay with Alipay. Um, they might want to buy some niche pr presents that, for you to send to them and get all that logistics working. I think it's our job as business advisors to show our local customers how to use these tools and platform to get into these big marketplaces that already exist. Okay. And so we can turn small businesses into export. And there's something magical about when you see that money from overseas arrive in your <laughs> bank account, right? Very nice. We're in 2017. What is surprising to you today about small businesses? What, we're in 2017? I thought we were 2020. <laughs> um, uh, what's surprising me is how global they already are becoming. And you take our accounting channel, what blows me away, I'll be in, um, in Hong Kong and uh, chatting to a partner and they're talking about another partner I just saw over in London and they formed a collaborative business over these platforms. And we have Australian accountants here in Denver who have come up here to form relationships with US accountants because they want to, they have clients that might be exporting or maybe a sports star that operates out of here. They want to find a relationship with a like-minded person. It's really cool. We have a lot of, um, uh, quite a lot of mums uh, who uh, may even be solo parents who now, um, you know, they've struggled with being in a big firm because they're trying to get their life balance right, but they're mm -hmm. becoming global experts uh, who can um, now collaborate with a whole lot of people all over the world. And that's just awesome. So, you've been in the, the U.S. market for a while now, Yep. but still a lot of small businesses really don't know who you are. Hmm. Take a minute or two just to tell those who are, who don't know, what they should know about you guys. Yeah, so, um, you know, Zero with an X, X-E-R-O, <laughs> is, um, you know, we're a, we're a global small business accounting product, single version of the code. We uh, host it on Amazon Web Services, so it's all here in the U.S. And we're the biggest uh, provider outside of the US and we've seen how um, the economies have absolutely uh, changing now with this focus on small business. So all that expertise we're now bringing to the US, we've got a gun team here and, and it's firing. So if you're um, you know, first time to accounting and the traditional products don't work for you, I think you'll really love Zero. you'll love our community. And if you're still using that old crappy desktop software, <laughs> uh, Zero is where you should be. One thing came to mind, we're still so many or so few small businesses are on the cloud. What do you think it's going to take to get them? You guys are doing something. What, what are you thinking like, to get well, small just, businesses really moving? Yeah, they just need to know about it. I mean, what we've got to do is um, not just deliver a better mousetrap. We've got to deliver a fundamental different ex experience. And it's the human stories. Like, we have accountants here that have come up and say, you've changed my life. I wanted to move back to my state, but my client base was here. Now location doesn't matter. That's a really good thing. Or um, we have accountants that um, haven't taken an overseas holiday because you know every week they've got to do clients' books. They can travel to Europe with their iPad and keep things moving along. So that experience that accountants are having, we need to transfer that and show our small businesses the freedom they can have by having tools in the cloud. And I think even now, just um, security is such a major issue. All of us cloud vendors live and die on it. And if anything goes wrong or there's a security thing, we normally know about it. We do a lot of... Um, anomalous login detection, hopefully I got that word right. right. <laughs> and um, uh, and you know, if anything goes wrong, you know, 30 people's pages go off and we're all over it, compared oh. to that, that hard drive dying underneath the desk and then being pretty mm. lonely for two weeks. Yeah. Um, you know, the, these are the platforms where successful businesses are growing. And we see in all the numbers, people who are using um, uh, cloud accounting and a combination of apps that are pre-connected to cloud accounting are just making more money and having more time off. One last question. You mentioned that uh, you thought your industry is 
like the best suited for really leveraging AI and moving it out to the masses. Can you yep. talk a little bit about that? Yeah, well, it's because um, we have you know so much data and a small taxonomy, and you've got um, you know we've raised over 400 million of investment and been doing this for 10 years. So there's so much energy going on to business apps for small business. This is a hot, hot sector. And um, because it's relatively straightforward to get the benefits of machine learning, um, this is where people will see it first. So you know, it really means for the next 10 years, the small business technology space is going to be a huge amount of fun. Brad, thank you for uh, Thanks so time. much. Absolutely.